Hi everybody, today we're going to start a new routine called word work. Now why do we do word work? Well, we learn all the rules for reading words by two different ways. Number one, by reading books, and number two, by doing word work. So if you think back to preschool and kindergarten, it all starts with the ABCs. And once you learn the ABCs and that vowels make two sounds and consonants make one sound and that you can blend them, then you are ready to learn all the patterns of all the sounds and we do that in a very special order. So the word work that we use is a four day routine and you will be working out of book one to begin. Let's look. Here is the introduction. Each week you will have a phonics skill for the week. And in the yellow spelling words packet, there are many units and each unit has four pages. So what supplies will you need? Well, you're going to need your spelling packet. You're going to need a pencil with a good eraser on it. You're going to need Crayola crayons or Crayola markers. And the reason I'm using the word Crayola is only because I want you to know that a Sharpie does not work. If you use a Sharpie, you will make your letters go through the paper and this packet is back to back pages. So let's say you use a black Sharpie. Well, the following day when it's time to write perhaps sentences, you really, you really won't have a piece of paper to do that on because the Sharpie went through it. So I don't necessarily mean that you need Crayola as a name brand, but you need that type of a marker or you can always use crayons. They're just as fun. You need one die and sometimes we call those dice, but you only need one. And if you're doing this independently, you need a 20 minute timer because you might not get done with the whole activity, but 20 minutes is really the stopping point because you have other work to do. So here we are to the four pages. On day one, you will always be introduced to the words and that will be your rainbow writing day. I'll talk more about that. Then on day two, you flip the page and on the back, you have empty handwriting lines. And this will be your day two work where you will write two complete sentences. I'll talk more about that. Day three is your first page of roll and write. And you can see that there are two pages. So day four is when you turn the page and then you have challenge words and then sight words on the back. I'll talk about each one of those separately. All right, this is the end of the introduction. Make sure that you have collected your supplies and you are ready to go for day one.